What's up, YouTube? This is Dave from Nerd Work Network and Computer Enthusiast Master Race. If you haven't heard of us, check us out on Facebook, 60,000 members strong and counting. Today we're going to be taking a look at, not this, believe it or not. Um, I know this is a very popular motherboard, rather. We're actually going to be taking a look at the OC frame from Durbauer, which is primarily used for direct die cooling the 9900K. If you haven't already, check out our other video where I delid one of these bad boys if you're into that. <clears throat> so, just trying to get things in order here. Uh, we do have to cover quite a bit, so just bear with me and we'll get through it as quick as we can. Very cool. <clears throat> Moving on. What we're going to do is take the LGA socket off. So basically just the CPU socket is there. The reason for that is we want to get the cooler as low as possible. We want to get clearances down because whenever you're direct die cooling these 9900Ks, your cooler clearance must be lower, which is tough to do without this. I'm sorry, it's upside down. So, wonderful piece of kit from Der Bauer. We're gonna make use of the bottom. This guy, that's what the OC frame is going to be mounted to, so we don't want to lose that. Don't see any bent pins. Definitely cringe worthy.
Now this is the first time I'm doing this, so we're both learning. Well, all of us are learning. Maybe all of us aren't learning. Maybe uh, some of you here just laugh at me. Hey, that's cool too. Okay, we're good. No bad pants. So, essentially, this guy mounts right on there, and boy, does it fit really darn good. First, what we want to do is we want to get our deleted chip. Once again, if you guys want to see the video where I pop the lid off of this bad boy, I do go over uh, cleaning the solder off. Do it chemically. Don't do it. I do not do it with the razor blade. You can do it with the razor blade if you like. Uh, I definitely do not have courage like that. I am going to go back here in a little bit and cover the SMDs with some liquid electrical tape. It's highly recommended. Uh, some will say that it's not necessary. Some will insist that you do it um, obviously me caring about this chip as much as I do I'm going to do it but for the sake of this video we are going to uh, skip over that right now let's get this bad boy on there and that should about do it um, anchoring this down is going to sort of act or do the same responsibilities as the LGA latch itself. Doesn't have to be tight, guys. Your main objective is just to keep it tight enough to where the CPU doesn't bounce around. You definitely don't want that happening. Um, here's the back plate for the latch. We're going to try to do this all in frame if I can. If I can't, you gotta forgive me. Uh, it's really not that hard to get this guy on there. And you just want to tighten these to a point where you feel the threads grabbing. And I mean, you don't need to feel them just totally grabbing in on themselves right away. Um, remember, the objective is just to keep it tight enough to where the CPU does not want to bounce around. Once you get to that point, which is about where I'm at now, you really just want to give it About a quarter turn to start, maybe an eighth of a turn, not even that much. Just make sure everything's tight. Doesn't take much, folks. And that'll about do it. 
And that is how you install the OC frame. Well, that'll about wrap it up for today's video. If you liked it, thumbs up it. If you didn't, go ahead and hit that thumbs down button. Um, if you have a look in the video description link below, you will find a list of everything that I used in today's video, as well as links and other stuff we're running right now, just as I planned it. But anyways, guys, I appreciate it, and I will see you on the next one.